Rising COVID cases in India have increased the burden on the testing system. People are not only rushing to get RT-PCR tests, but also CT scans of the chest, especially as RT-PCR test results are getting delayed. So, do all patients of COVID-19 really need a CT scan of the chest? Let's find out. What is a CT scan? A computerized tomography or computerized axial tomography scan combines data from several x-rays to produce a detailed image of structures inside the body. A CT scan can be used to visualize nearly all parts of the body and is used to diagnose disease or injury as well as to plan medical, surgical or radiation treatment. Most of the patients of COVID are either asymptomatic or mildly symptomatic. So in such situations, we don't need a CT scan. CT scan is only required in patients who are having moderate to severe disease and that too in certain criteria. Something like uh, the patient is having persistent fever for 7-8 days, the fever is not responding. When you are not really sure whether the, you know, the lung infection is significant or not, that is the first criteria. The second one would be when the patient has started developing hypoxia, that means the oxygen levels have been started dropping. In such situations, whether to you know, hospitalize the patient, whether you know, to continue the home quarantine, is the time that we do a CT scan to find out whether there is significant lung infection. Third criteria would be, you know, I'm suspecting COVID, but the COVID report, report has come out to be negative. In such situations, I'm not sure whether I'm dealing with COVID or not. The symptoms look like that. And given the current pandemic, I need to be doubly sure whether it is COVID or not. So in such situations, I would do a CT scan. There is no standardized international criteria that know when you should do a CT scan. It is all experience days now. So my personal criteria would be, you know, patients at least more than six to seven days, because initially for the first week, the CT scan does not show significant changes. The virus is still spreading in the lungs. You know, at the end of six, seven days, when the body starts mounting a response to the virus, is the time the CT scan shows some changes. So if you do a CT scan initially in the first five days, the CT scan might show normal changes or it might show very mild changes. You might be fooled with the fact that, you know, I'm having a very mild COVID, I'm, I did not be hospitalized, but that is not the case. The CT scan starts showing some changes after day five, day six. And the ideal time would be around day seven, day eight, when you are suspecting, you know, whether the COVID is severe enough to be hospitalized or not. But mind you, it is not the only criteria to get admit, uh, to get admitted. In fact, you need to rely on multiple criteria like how much is the fever quantity like? What is the age patient, age of the patient like? What are the comorbidities uh, like in a particular patient? What are the oxygen levels like? All those criteria, the inflammatory markers, CRPs, and all those markers ultimately end up deciding whether you need to be hospitalized or not. Uh, but first, first week, definitely not required to do a CT scan. Second week, based on the symptoms, based on the other criteria, we think about whether we need to do a CT scan or not. CT scan will tell me whether it looks like COVID or not because the changes are very, very specific for COVID. The COVID RT-PCR report is only 50 to 70% sensitive. That means if I have 100 COVID patients, I do a RT-PCR in them, only 50 to 70% of the patients would be having uh, COVID positive. We'll end up missing 30 to 40% of the patients. But in a CT scan, it is more sensitive. So if I take 100 patients who are having COVID, I do a CT scan after like say day five or day six, I'll pick up at least 90% of the patients who are having COVID. So in such scenarios, it is you know a better sensitive test to determine whether the patient is likely to have COVID or not. But most of the other patients, as I mentioned, 90% of the patients are either mildly symptomatic or asymptomatic. There's absolutely no role of doing a CT scan and you know following up with a CT scan. Some people are doing two CT scans or three, three CT scans. That has absolutely no role at all.